Welcome to 30 Second Star, the first and only show that profiles popular commercial actors that we all know by sight and product, but we don't know by name. Today I profile the first female actor of the new season. Now, the character she plays is a little loopy, but <laughs> indeed she is a lot of fun. She plays Carrie the Sparkle Fairy, the over-energized, in-your-face, kind of quirky, paper towel hawking pixie sprite who is very passionate about demonstrating her product. Today's profile is of actress Tracy Petrillo. Tracy grew up in a small steel mill town in Granite City, Illinois. Her first foray into show business was in the first grade at a Sound of Music audition. She did great with the singing, but not so much with the script reading. Her mother delivered the discouraging news that, quote, you didn't get it, unquote, at the dinner table, and she cried and cried. But then her mother gave her some advice. She told Tracy that if acting was what she really wanted to do, there'd be many more no's than yeses. That was a great first lesson that primed her for the marathon rejection that comes with being in show business. Tracy got the part of Carrie the Sparkle Fairy by going in for an audition. As luck would have it, she told her agent she was unavailable that day because her parents were in New York on a visit. But he called back and told her that the Sparkle people asked for her specifically. Her parents strongly encouraged her to go, so she went. Before the audition, she received some interesting yet contradictory direction for her character. Quirky, but not too cute. Flighty, but smart. Mom's best friend, but kind of a pest. Definitely some straightforward instruction. In an effort to simplify the process, Tracy just concentrated on being herself and she booked the job. What she found really interesting was that after the callbacks, they conducted an interview with her while in character as the Sparkle Fairy and bombarded her with questions. One funny question was regarding her beef with the Tooth Fairy. Her response? Well, things got a little awkward given their past, but being the Sparkle Fairy, she promotes female friendship and now the two enchanted pixies are totally good. It was the most fun interview she's ever done and credits her strong improv background to being able to ad-lib off the cuff during the mock interview, ultimately booking her the gig. As for her non-Sparkle projects, she's revising her first solo show, Star Camp, in preparation for festival submissions. She's also done many regional and off-Broadway productions, as well as doing a national tour of Disney's High School Musical, where she got to explore developing a multitude of characters. In her off time, she posts a daily tarot reading on Instagram, at Mystic Assistant, as she develops a monthly esoteric talk show. Now that sounds like something right up Sparkle Fairy's alley. Admittedly, Tracy says she's a bit of an alien. <laughs> Well, either earthly or extraterrestrial, it's awesome to see her play her off-the-wall Sparkle Fairy character here on Earth. During her downtime, she is absolutely obsessed, which she says is putting it mildly, with astrology and trashy epic women's fiction. She also loves singing to her cats, kickboxing, writing, and spending time with her husband, who's a tattoo artist. So now you know this 30 Second Star's name. Thank you so much, Tracy. Well, that's it for now. I'll be back next time with another 30 Second Star.